there's this war for our attention, and so these apps want to put notifications and have colorful icons. They want you to make an unconscious choice to use it. So what would we do to put conscious choices first? Most people don't realize that companies have teams of engineers who invent new forms of notifications just to grab your attention. These things are all invented because they're really good at getting you to come back. So what you can do is actually turn off almost all notifications and only keep the notifications for when people, when real people want your attention. You know all those times when your phone vibrates and you don't know if it's you know, your mother, or if it's a new content release, or if it's a dating app, you have no idea what it is. You can actually go into the iPhone settings and turn on a custom vibration so that when you get a text message from a friend, it buzzes in a unique way. The more our phone buzzes at us, the more it conditions us to release cortisol and stress. And so the less frequently our pocket's buzzing, the calmer we get. The most important real estate in the attention economy is our home screen. How do we make it so when we check our home screen, we have the fewest number of thoughts that we don't want to be having and have just the thoughts that we want to be having? The way to do that is to set up your home screen for as many conscious choices as possible. First, take off almost all the apps from your home screen and leave just the, the tools. So just have the tools that you use to go in, do something and get out. For example, there are no social media applications on here, there's no bottomless bowls, there's nothing that sort of scrolls infinitely. It's just tools like maps, calendar, notes, settings, messages. I do that because other apps actually want you to stay for as long as possible. So if, if they're on my home screen, you're gonna slippery slope into this entire bottomless bowl full of content our thumb gets in a habit, right? We know where the app is and so we, we just go to it every single time. And one way to do that is to create a pattern interrupt. And a pattern interrupt is where something is in a different place than where you left it last time so that you're forced to again make a more conscious choice about what you're doing. Whenever I want anything other than a tool, I swipe down and search for it. And by searching, it forces you to type. For example, if I check my email, like MA. And now, I can still get to my email, but I can make a conscious choice to do it because I had to type its name. This unhijacks your mind so that we only make the conscious choices we want and not the unconscious choices.